Yo, what's up everyone? I hope y'all are doing well. All right, so today we're going to be discussing about uh, what's up with Solana. Um, I've mentioned everything in detail on a Medium post. I'll leave the link in the video description. Make sure to check that out. But right now we're just going to run through the, uh, the post and just uh, pick up some notable items over there or maybe all. Let's see. Yeah, we, we try to keep it short, but let's see. Uh, you know, there's been a lot of fun around like Solana and the whole ecosystem is going to zero. We have heard all, the, all of those and like you know how FTX was tied and how Solana is like uh, totally all centralized and all of that stuff. So I think like most of them are not the right information. And you know, but let's just hear it from you know some of the key leaders, um, thought leaders out there in crypto. Starting off with like Vitalik, he he goes on to say like you know some smart people tell me there is an earnest smart developer community in Solana, which is actually true. And he goes on to say like and now that the awful opportunistic money people have been washed out the chain is has uh, the chain has a bright future he's referring to ftx and and uh, other institutions who are just here for uh you know the uh, just the gains and uh yeah just uh, using the network but anyways the morale of the solana community uh, in the in the recent past has been a bit uh low i would say but but you know solana vibes are very different you know so once they get into groove like you know it, it just starts uh, it just starts flowing, right? So let's see what happens. But anyways, uh, that's that's what Vitalik had to say. You know, if, looking at the numbers, some of the charts from like um, Artemis was like uh, daily active addresses are the highest, you know, uh, compared to any other L1 network, which is out there in production uh, currently. And um, if you take a look at the um, decentralization sort of like debate i think it's i wouldn't call it like decentralized altogether because none of the um, <laughs> none of the networks are totally decentralized let's say uh, let's call it like permissionless okay just to make sure we are good yeah it's permissionless sort of like protocols you can build on top of it solana has got like 3300 nodes across like 400 different data centers 290 stakers so it's pretty good you know in in on that front uh, you know, Solana processes more substantially more transactions than any other network uh, currently. So you can take a look at that chart. You know, so I was coming up with like five different upgrades. The first one being quick to improve the transaction, uh, you know, flow. Stake rated QoS, depending on the stake, like you know how 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 the quality of service of the network is going to be, so that's going to determine that priority fees, which is like if you want to actually uh, let's say um, make your transaction process much more faster or much more quicker than anyone else, you got to pay an extra fee on top of the base network fee. That's all it means because when the demand is high, if you want to prioritize yours, you pay a bit more. So that's fine, uh, and it's already live you know some of them are already live so go ahead go ahead and like you know check this link and you'll understand everything in details right so uh, transaction size increase is the next one and compact vote state is the final one so these are these are core upgrades which is going to be directly implemented or let's say released or yeah implemented in the l1 network itself uh, that is solana yeah, so just to recap on like Breakpoint, which is uh, which is an event organized by Salon Foundation and Salon Labs um, every year for the community to come together and like, you know, just uh, share uh, knowledge and just be together in real life. So, you know what happened after the after the Breakpoint 2022 FTX happened, you know, so right after it finished. But anyways, if you want to take a look at like the all the episodes from um, those three days of the Breakpoint event. You can just click on any one of this uh, playlist and just watch it, right? And this there's everything for like users or let's say a developer, even if you are, or business or anyone who wants to just uh, get more insight insights on what's going on with Solana, right? I highly recommend also to check out the uh, the uh, thread by Austin. He talks about a bit more about like how they're going to improve the performance and security of the network, some of the long long term goals that they're targeting, you know, for the network. Uh, network residency of course you have solana saga mobile but nevertheless um, sandstorm is a community hackathon and it just like um, blew up it was just like a way how mert was actually uh, planning to actually showcase helios which is his uh 
product or his company or his business uh, so basically he wanted to just show show off hideous features and that actually turned out uh, turned out to actually be like a whole community hackathon and there's been like a lot of traction 50 different sponsors they made it huge you know and 41 41 tracks different tracks DeFi, nft gaming etc you know so there's been a lot on that front as well it's already done so go to their twitter and you'll understand much more about uh, the current uh, what's going on and um, yeah so state of solana and DeFi. DeFi is, I mean, uh, not just on Solana, but uh, DeFi in general has been a bit, um, let's say, uh, lack of liquidity. So let's say some of the protocols, um, you know, are facing uh, the expenses are higher than their uh, than their returns or their premium or their gains or uh, let's say the earnings from the protocol. So that's why it'd be, it's been a bit like slow, I would say, but nevertheless, you know, so we know that DeFi is here to stay, you know, the whole technology and the innovation is here to stay. It's just finding different ways uh, to bring in uh, new liquidity, let's say, into the market and which will eventually uh, keep growing, right? So uh, yeah, look forward to that. But currently it stands around like 250 to, to 70 million total value loss you can take a look at some of the protocols over there which provides like different sorts of like automated or like managed strategies across DeFi if you want to take a look at uh, some of the DEX aggregators lending optimizers you can take a look at that AMM management you can take a look at that as well structured products also I, I think we have spoken a lot about structured products in this channel if you remember this video watching this video I'm sure you know what structured product is I think it's it's going to be super big so let's look out for uh, some of those yeah just to mention like one of the one of the things what we have heard today actually was friction is actually sunsetting their whole protocol uh, currently and that is also because of the same reason lack of liquidity and also uh, uh, operational expenses are much more higher than the um, than the earnings of the protocol it's um yeah i'm i'm, I'm super excited to uh, learn more about what's next for them but um it's a very good team big shout out to them you know i've, I've used their protocol um, and i mean it's it's uh, they've actually set the bar like really really high in terms of like user experience of in DeFi. you know so i mean um yeah, it's it's just unfortunate that they are um, you know uh, sunsetting their vaults, but I'm sure like they have some plans uh, because I've met Udav. He's an amazing smart guy, so he, he'll come up with something definitely. But anyways, keep an eye on that. If you have some funds, withdraw it from that. It's not hacked or something like that. It's just like they're like closing down operations for now um until further notice and um, let's see what happens if you want to learn more about uh, other protocols which are listed you can go to the file llama you know that solana.com slash ecosystem is another place but these are places where you can actually list the protocols but uh you know some of them you just find it out there in the wild right on, on twitter or reddit or discord telegram wherever right you'll, you'll come across them so one of them is like look forward to margin lend let's see what they come up with so um yeah so the nft markets um you know uh, over here as you see solana transactions tps is like over 4000 before it used to be lower than like 2k or even lower but it's good that they can handle this and it's going to actually improve much more uh, because of another product which is upcoming but anyways take a look at all these uh, tools uh, if you're an nft gen if you want to explore as Lana FTs some of the tools uh, you know discussed from discussed by like some of the uh, users within the ecosystem I've compiled them so you can take a look if you're looking for wallets you can go with any of them wallet I, I would suggest like go with backpack or ultimate money or phantom backpack and phantom they have um let's say the extension on the browser itself but ultimate money is more mobile focused much more retail focused and they also bring DeFi in a very uh, amazing way let's say uh yeah it's a very simple way to do, actually do that so uh solana products some of the solana products that we want to actually touch on here is open book open book is like a fork of like serum v3 they already have like two 2300 markets and if you want to know the reason why uh, open book was created was like let's say forked or built uh, read this thread you'll you'll get to learn more caramel is a way to actually monetize open source uh, protocol 
code, open source code or open source packages where developers build. They put in a lot of time. Now they can use Caramel in order to actually monetize all of those. And, you know, BSOL, uh, Bonk, USD, USDC, Shadow, the payments are accepted in this. And, of course, like Sol, uh, the Sol coin, Solana coin. Um, yeah, so there we go and mobile of course Solana is coming up with their Solana Saga mobile if you want to check out uh, go to um, you know go to this uh, thread and they mentioned here they're shipping to 33 different countries mostly in uh, yeah across like Europe US and I see a lot of like um, Australia uh, oceanic countries um, but yeah take a look at that if you have already ordered some of the developers they're testing out the design and all that stuff so they are the priority ones who got the phones first but i've actually played around with it when i was um in the conference uh in the solana uh, breakpoint uh conference yeah so it's amazing it's a android phone with with a solana dap store you know this is the first look and uh it's going to be crypto focused phone you know the hard the the phone itself is going to be the hardware uh wallet so security is going to be um really good uh, and the experience also is going to be really good because just think of it like if we have enjoyed like metamask and like phantom on our phone going to our going to the wallet browser and then going into a uh, dap or any other uh, crypto uh, protocol um is good but like this is going to be much more amazing x nft executable nfts um any sort of like code you can publish it as an um, as an x nft which is a file format right so x nft basically stands for executable nfts and this is also uh they have a they, it's a it's a whole platform and a suite of like different products which they're going to be upcoming and it's going to be multi networks and, uh, currently it's like ethereum and solana uh, but it's based out of like solana armani i'm sure if you know so yeah he he showcases a video where you can actually see he mentions today i learned that xnft backpack continues to be the only place where you can actually use solana wallet and your metamask wallet at the same time multi-chain multi mnemonics looks rare and <laughs> that's it's just like yeah but i think they're doing amazing they're looking forward to i guess the uh wormhole integration which will actually make it much more uh, multi-network and so that it's easier for them to actually go ahead and build uh, on different networks or provide gateways so that other networks can connect to their platform so i think they're doing an amazing job right there Fire Dancer is going to be a new validator client. Um, so this is the second validator client and is the only network after Ethereum to have a second validator client. And uh, the transactions of Solana is expected to uh, be around like 1.2 million transactions per second. And on the test net, uh, they did around like 600K transactions per second. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, uh, 600.6 million transactions per second in the test environment. So token 22 is going to be another standard just like SPL, like Solana programming library, but uh, token 22 is going to be a bit more uh, modified, I guess. So you can take a look at that by just going to this uh, website, compressed NFT in order to actually save a lot of space and save, save a lot of like storage and all of that stuff. So compressed NFT, listen to the spaces, you'll get to know what it is from the Metaplex team and dialect so uh, of course you have uh, the Solana hacker houses Solana hacker houses are basically like let's say hackathons but in real life and the, this is like you know it happens around like uh, I think this year is going to be around like 24 different cities which is going to host actually Solana hacker houses so uh, if you want to actually participate in the in the in the ecosystem and just want to connect I think there's the best place and it's not just like any other crypto conference hackathon or meetup it's actually a hacker house where you see actually people just like building you know, all these developers just like coding their ass off you know so and chewing glass you know so i mean that's the ethos but anyways uh, look forward to that go to this slot.com slash events sign up it's free you know so go over there meet people just connect network do what do what you like you know it's not only for developers it's for anyone anyone who's interested in the ecosystem business business partner business developers marketing whatever what have you you know so 
yeah, cross network bridges is basically uh, from other networks, uh, how many connections are there um, to Solana. So there are currently like four different cross network bridges uh, and you can check them out on DeFi Llama, just go click on this link. I'll also add like SideShift. SideShift uh, has an amazing UX, you know, so go check them out as well. SideShift is amazing, no sign up needed. It's a, it's a protocol itself, you know, so and there are like 75 different cryptocurrencies and you can in, in, exchange instantly. So it's amazing. I've used it. Yeah. So one of the key things, uh, you know, you've been hearing a lot of bonk. Probably, probably you've heard about it, or maybe not. But if you've heard about it, bonk is truly a crypto movement. You know, like this. This came in when, uh, when the, when the e, when the morale of like the entire ecosystem, like Solana and the broader crypto ecosystem, was like low. You know, it just came. It just brought in a bit of fun to it of course like you know bonk means like just bonk someone with a baseball hat or just whatever a baseball bat and here you know there's a game go to please bonk me please please bonk dot me and you'll see like you know you just click over here and it's gonna bonk sam you know sbf so ftx uh former ftx ceo but yeah so it was just a it's just a way to make a statement saying that hey this uh it's not just uh you know these technologies are not just before like um you know all these uh, folks to come in and just extract value all these institutions it, it needs to be somewhat or much more fairer but of course um you know the rest it's no uh no, i'm not dissing against sam i think sam is a great person but he just lost uh uh track of things and maybe track of reality and that's what led to um, what happened to FTX? Uh, too much leverage, you know, and I mean, of course, you can't uh, trade with like customer funds, at least. Uh, so but anyways, refi is uh, an interesting niche, I would say refi regenerative finance. So take a look at this, go through this Atlantis, big shout out to them. They're, they're the only Solana protocol or project who's um, uh, making significant waves on uh, in, in this refi. You know, they recently um, they were, uh, you know, doing the Gitcoin grants and stuff like that. They started off in the 40th position and now they're like top five. So check them out. I've I've left the link over here. They're also going to be participating in like Green Pill Festival, which is going to be in India, hackathons, workshop, concerts. Take a look at that. You can burn and reclaim some of the rent and that you... So this is the next topic. And Soul Incinerator is like, a, let's say, a, a DAP or a platform or a solution which allows you to burn any sort of assets and recover some of the rent in the sense like let's say if you have a scam token or scam nft just airdrop to you randomly you can burn all of them and you can um you can get some soul back as you see over here reclaim 0 0.300 soul by burning 30 different items so you can you can burn one two hundred whatever you want and you can get some soul back or any other uh spl token also is supported currently on on that on soul incinerator wrap bitcoin um yeah it's it's coming as you know like ftx collapsed all these solid solid assets and uh soul btc was a solid asset so it depegged so there was no there's no btc at the moment Moment, but it's coming and uh, this is going to be through wrapped uh, um, yeah it's wrapped BTC is coming and I mean if you want to take a look at like the announcement uh, by Benny who's like the uh, business developer uh, in Solana, Solana Foundation or labs so yeah so there's uh, less liquidity in 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 the sense like let's say people who have Bitcoin they can go ahead and provide liquidity and then you can go ahead and mint Solana BTC uh, like or Sol BTC or you can have like BTC on Sol that's one way but anyways uh, take a look at some of these articles um, you know done by like Ryan amazing article take a look at that uh, take a look at this article as well which is great to actually address some of the issues or uh, some of the reasons why Solana was criticized or is being criticized or was criticized whatever but um, yeah take a look at that article
self-organized community is super important because this actually uh, amplifies the effect of uh, of the entire network and the ecosystem there are so many DAOs, you know super team as you have known lamport soul soul dev meets metacamp and um, hundreds of others you know in the whole ecosystem and this this trend is going to keep on continuing i think because they add a lot of uh, value but anyways taking a look at some of the devs you know we've got like 2k devs uh, on Solana, which is the highest after like Ethereum, so which is really good. If you want to take a look at a report by Electric Capital, which is super popular, but uh, of course nothing is like precise or 100% correct. Is but I would say it's directionally correct. Okay, like everything may not be entirely correct because they only assess open source projects, right? Uh, and some of the projects on Solana, or let's say uh, most of the projects on Solana, they're not open source yet, like fully open source. Uh, so Electric Capital capital just, just account for like um, um, just the open source uh, <laughs> projects and uh, yeah so take a look at that uh, take a look at uh, you know follow Justin because he's going to host some of the Solana DeFi spaces he's going to bring on different participants follow Austin he's going to spin up he's already spun up a, a podcast so you can listen to him and you know or and also the guest it's amazing actually to be honest so um, yeah follow follow them and they're going to keep you posted of course follow Chase if you want to learn some 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 if you're a developer or anyone who just wants to learn about uh, all the developers in the solar ecosystem so the the podcast is called like chewing glass pod it's uh, the playlist is on solana's um youtube channel so make sure to check that out louis also has uh the cove podcast uh so check that out as well if you want to just keep informed and yeah i mean it just in general i think i think solar is good uh, in my opinion of course um you know uh, you assess it yourself but here here was like you know just some of the facts and i think i think solana is like it's just a fun um network and economy to be in um and i mean they're bonked up and you know because bonk is on solana of course you know uh, currently i think they all also have some integration to e3 recently i saw i just came across but anyways um one of the key thing to remember is like since the ftx fallout uh, solana daily active wallets have uh, grown by three times after FTX. If you see this uh, chart over here, it says pre-FTX blow up and post-FTX. You see the uh, daily active wallets. So this was by Mesari. So I'm sure you know who Mesari is. And if you don't, just Google, you know, and you'll know who it is. But anyways, uh, good to hear something from Noah as well. Noah has been like, you know, since the early days and uh, on, on Solana, he and Bartosz actually set the foundations of like, you know, chewing glass and all these culture of like Solana developers so he says like few few people fighting on Solana understand how far it's come in terms of like stability and usability we have to agree on that and not just like Solana but uh, I mean a uh, crypto in general has come very far you know in in past five years or six years you know and it's going to exponentially grow from here now because the developer experiences are being sold you know networks like Radix is actually sold it you know which is which is uh, much more but yet to see in production but, but we'll see it looks good there's good developer feedback from from the radix uh, community so yeah we'll take a look at that but anyways coming back to noah there was he goes on to say there was a time where dev you lived or died by retried logic meaning maybe the program failed and they had to retry and uh, try over again but he says now i can deploy a program a thousand transactions in less than a minute and it's but very smooth and it's it's true you know like so if you're a developer on Solana, you know that for sure. You can see the quality in the apps being built and how composable they are right now. So yeah, that was it. Um, I'll just leave the link in the description. Check that out. And if you have any questions, comments, whatever, I'd love to hear from you. Make sure to you know, like, share, subscribe. And uh, yeah, because... Uh, I was just looking at the stats yesterday and uh, most of you, there's a good balance between like... Uh, uh, male uh, viewers and like female viewers i think it's like 52 48 which is pretty good but anyways um you know subscribe because most of you aren't subscribed so make sure to subscribe and we'll, we'll keep discussing more about like DeFi and uh, other networks that we are exploring right if you have something in mind like uh, i'm more focused in like the l1 ecosystems you know and then of course like you know demos of different dApps so whenever i uh, 
you know whenever it happens it'll happen you'll get you'll be notified so make sure to click that all notification right all right so uh have a nice weekend guys and, and girls and ladies and gentlemen all right peace now peace peace